Our next guest thrives on her passion for cooking and has traveled in search of scrumptious recipes from native New Englanders. Please welcome the author of What's Cooking in New England, Diane Perry Gardner. Diane, welcome to the show. Hi, Desiree. How are you? Thanks oh, for having wonderful. me. Thanks for being here. Oh, thank you. Now, how in the heck did you come up with this name, What's Cooking in New England? Because this is your third cookbook. This is my third book. Okay. I started in my hometown, which was Madison, and then I took it to the Connecticut shoreline, and I was like, okay, what's next? It's New England. I have to do all of New England. So I've been traveling throughout New England, all six states, and just chatting with people and collecting great recipes. And finding rich traditions awesome. and telling their stories through recipes. Absolutely. People love to share stories, and one thing that brings everyone together is food. And in, your, in the kitchen cooking and sharing recipes, it's just a great tradition. And you are here in our kitchen here to yes. share two recipes with us. Absolutely. We're making lamb chops. Lamb chops. And main mussels. Right. Okay. Two very easy, quick recipes for the um, holidays coming up. Quick, quick appetizers. Quick is my word. I like quick. Quick is what you're going to do because I'm going to put you to work here. All right, let's do it. Diving okay. into the lamb so chops. So we have, we have lamb chops, okay. uh, Australian cut lamb chops, which to me are the best. And what we're going to do is I'm going to have you chop up some rosemary for me. Okay. And, and you can do this a couple of ways. You can make a paste. I mean business. Here. Or, yeah, we got to take that okay. off. You can make a paste or you can just work with the ingredients you have. All you need for these are olive oil, kosher salt, cracked black pepper, and fresh rosemary. That's it. So we're just going to rub the chops with a little olive oil. And Diane, what are we looking for with those lamb chops? I mean, when you're going to go pick them up. Well, I always go. I mean, I have a certain place I buy my chops from. I okay. mean, you're looking for, you know, the best cut of, 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 of um, chops you can find as far as lamb goes. Okay. And for me, it's the Australian cut chops. Okay. And I always go into Guilford to um, Starfish Market, which ah, is my favorite. They've got great, they great seafood. They have great, seafood. great. They but they have great meat as well. Oh, yes. They do it on just seafood. I mean, their beef, their chops, it, it's amazing. Okay. So what you're doing is you're just going to take these, you put in your salt, you put in your pepper, okay. and then you're going to take your rosemary and just a little okay. and rub into each chop. Rub and then in. we're going to flip the other side and do the same. Okay. And then we're going to sear them. Two minutes on That's each it. side. Done. You don't need a sauce. You don't need anything with these. They're fantastic. You know, you're a mom for sure. Yeah. Mom of I'm three, a, which I'm is really great. mom which is how this whole thing came about, me making, writing cookbooks. I know, but what happened? I mean, where did you get your inspiration from? Was it just your kids were going off to school and you were having, like, empty nest syndrome or what? Well, my, my inspiration actually came back to my, to my granny, which was years and years ago. She taught me how to cook, so I've been cooking forever. But it's my passion, it's my love, and when I figured out that my kids were going to be in school all day and I had nothing to do, I was like, you know, what am I going to do with my time? Ah. And that's how What's Cooking in Madison was born. And when that, that first started, five months later, the first book was born, and then went right into the second book, and um, now we're into the third, and I'm already collecting for the fourth. Well, there you have it. So, Jeez. okay, so okay, what, now we're what are we going to do? We are going to start. Okay, we've already got that on. Now, are we putting olive oil in here or no? Just a little. Okay, just, just a, a little, little to coat because we already have it on the chops. Okay. So we're literally just going to pop these in. If okay. you want to put yep. them in, here Absolutely. we go. Absolutely. Put that in. I don't know how. And again, we're cooking these for about two to three minutes, you on said. On each side. On each side. Absolutely. Okay. And it just sears them, and so it's according to how you want them. If you want a medium rare, I like a medium rare to medium on the inside. Okay. We're going to leave those there, let those okay. puppies cook, and then let's right. get on over here to the main mussels. Okay. So main mussels. This comes from a little bistro in Bath, Maine. Okay. And um, it's, a, it's a nice twist to mussels, because usually you see them with a little tomatoes, a little garlic, more of an Italian style. Well, this right. is different. It's made with fresh ginger and garlic and rosemary mm. and of course wine of so course, you have to have the wine of course we have to have wine yeah. Diane, whether you drink on. it or you put it into your dish you, <laughs> you have to have, have the wine all right all right so we're going to go back to the chopping block okay i'm going to need you to chop up a little fresh ginger little and fresh garlic ginger. and it's ready to go okay there we go okay and in the meantime you must we have the, the lamb chopper. chops going here i'm going to get the mussels out of the refrigerator okay do i have them Oh, now, yes, I do. What are, when are you traveling, and how much time are you spending on each cookbook? You said 18 months it took this, you to do what's cooking in New England. This cookbook was 18 months because it required a lot more travel, and it was a lot more time. So my husband travels a lot for work. So when he is home and he can help me watch the kids, I grab my photographer, and we hit the road, and we just go out and travel, and we stop um, at little countryside stores and little bistros and inns. I went to wow. fish markets. I talked to cheesemongers. I went to cattle farms goat cheese farms. I mean, it was just, it was amazing. So much it history and so tradition much in New fun. England. So much fun. And All right. Everyone so loves to share. Okay, now so what are we doing? All right. So we're going to flip the lamb oh, chops over not quite in a ready second. Yet. So these Should I chop are still this cooking. garlic up here, Diane? Yes, I need the garlic, too. Okay. 
So then we're going to start, Desiree, we're going to bring that over. Okay. And we're going to start. I am going to be a chef before you know it. Oh, Everybody you at home are. knows You're going to be always... making these for the holiday. You're going to go, wow, that's easy. Oh, my husband, Joey, would be so so proud. Okay. There we go. Put that in there. Okay. And we're going to put the ginger in there. Do you, is some of this to taste? I mean, you just put as much as you, you like You know what? It, it gives us the, the specifics in the cookbook. I okay. think it's like two tablespoons of each. But, you know, okay. you can kind of add. Or if you like more ginger, you can put more ginger. Okay. We're what up against the clock. So what are we going to do with this here? Okay, so these are going to come in here when this is sautéed. It's going to all come together. Okay. And we're going to sauté those and coat those. We're going to put a little olive oil. We're going to put a little wine. Okay. We're going to put some butter, and we're going to put the oranges in it. We're going to just squeeze the oranges right. in. And it's one orange, Diane, it's right? It's one orange for a pound of, of mussels. And, and this is going to be what we finish with. When, you, when you're cooking, though, how long are you cooking it, and what are you looking for? Of course, well, you Well, it doesn't it. take long. You just want them to open. So okay. once you sauté, once you sauté your, your garlic and then your ginger, it. that's it. You just pour the rest of the ingredients in I am and just let it go. Do you hear me? So I should grab the finished one. Mmm, that's really good. Let me off. grab this one out of here. So okay. we can show folks what the lamb chops will look like. All right, here we go. Okay, here we go. Now, when are you anticipating your fourth cookbook to come out? Um, that's probably going to be two years. Mm -hmm. You're going to place that yeah. on the rosemary. So we put this with the rosemary. Okay. And I've served this for a group of 50 at my home, and oh. I've served it for a group of eight. Well, next you can make time you have an appetizer, over. you're in. I was going to say, make it 51. Yeah. If you want to try <laughs> this recipe for yourself, just come to our website or check out Diane's book for yourself. The name again is What's Cooking in New England. Diane Perry Gardner, thank you so much for thank being you. here. Thank you for having me. You are me. a blast. Happy holidays. Happy. Yes, oh, thank yeah, you. I love this. All right, this leave those great. muscles behind. In the